Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Yudinsky. In American history, almost every single president has either served one term or two consecutive terms. And that's not including FDR, of course, who was elected to four in a row and served three full terms. But in the last near 250 years of the nation, only one man has served two non-consecutive terms in the White House. That's a rare accomplishment considering the difficulty of having to drum up support on two non-consecutive occasions. Let's meet the man who was most famous for serving two terms that were not back to back, the 22nd and 24th president of the United States, Grover Cleveland. Cleveland was born as the son of a Presbyterian preacher in 1837 in New Jersey. He would become famous, or in some opinions, infamous for several things. First, he would be the first president after the Civil War who did not actually serve in the war, even though he was of eligible age. Now, he allegedly took advantage of a Civil War era policy in the North called the Conscription Act, which allowed eligible men to pay someone else to fight in their stead. Second, he became the first Democrat to be elected to the presidency since the war had ended and the second to serve in office because remember Lincoln's successor, Andrew Johnson, was a Democrat, but he was not elected. Instead, he was given the Oval Office after Lincoln's assassination. Cleveland would be the only Democrat voted into the White House between the Civil War and the William H. Taft administration, which came to an end in 1913. Of course, Cleveland was most famous uh, for the duration of his eight-year term, which was split up by the four-year term of Benjamin Harrison. Cleveland's first term, which lasted from 1885 to 1888, consisted of his attempts to gain more political power over the growing rail industry, as well as a controversial and consistent usage of the presidential veto. During his first term, he married his wife Frances in what would be the only wedding ceremony to be held on 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. He lost his first bid for a second term in 1888 to Benjamin Harrison, but he got revenge in the 1892 election. During this term, he tightened his efforts to gain control of the rail industry, a controversial move, by the way, which contributed to his failure to gain another term. And remember, this was before the days of term limits. He also presided over the nation during the first big financial crisis since the antebellum years, and that was, of course, the Panic of 1893. Cleveland returned to his home state near Princeton, where he spent his remaining days before dying in 1908. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. And if you want us to cover one of your favorite moments in history, you can tell us in the comments. Now stay tuned for some new content.